Uh, so there's a branch on GitHub, um, and uh, so as I said, um, it's using Uboot on, on, on the board. Uh, but it's a strange uh, version of Uboot because Amiga OS has its own way of booting, um, and then it's also using a second stage loader like like we do uh, on, the, on the sector on, on the disk. Um, but uh, they modified Uboot to export a list of uh, APIs to uh, call from from it. Uh, it's a bit uh, ugly and it's very specific, so it didn't really want to go this route. Um, uh, and also because there is an official API for Uboot, but it's never compiled it because they wrote it specifically for NetBSD, because NetBSD does all, also the same kind of boot we do, uh, trying to call the BIOS to uh, change the video and etc. Uh, so, but uh, well, it's never compiling. If you uh, take any um, any uh, device with a U-boot firm firmware, it's, it's usually uh, not present. So it's really useful, of course. Um, so for now, I just um, fake a Linux kernel, and uh, I use the newest boot method. That is, um, the kernel gets passed uh, uh, a binary block containing uh, the flattened device tree which is actually a representation of the hardware that's uh, inside the system on chip. Uh, so because it's not really enumeratable uh, as on PCI versus and, and, and so on, uh, so you have to know uh, that it's there. So instead of having to hard code everything in drivers and, uh, and in various places, you just have uh, this device tree that tells you there's this device, has this address with this interrupt. And, and, uh, and then you can fake enumerations like uh, a normal uh, high level bus, uh, like PCI or whatever. So, uh, yeah, and it's uh, actually, uh, it comes from the open firmware concept, so it's very similar. It's um, possible to reuse the open firmware calls, um, uh, hopefully. Uh, so we can probably have a shared code uh, in some places. Uh, yeah, the um, CPU um, is um, an embedded specific um, RPC, uh, so it um, it's, uh, it's implements the book E specification, uh, unlike the G3, G4, and all the, the CPUs we uh, used to support. Um, there are some oddities, like there's a 36-bit addressing, but not only for the memory, like PAE on Intel, but also for the integrated peripherals. So uh, the, they are all memory maps and they are way beyond the 4 gigabytes um, uh, address space. So, um, well, it's a bit uh, trickier. Um, but since Haiku uses a clean notion of, of bus managers, it should be possible to, uh, to translate the addresses um, properly without having to, uh, to cut uh, too much uh, into it. Um, and then the MMU is, uh, well, stripped down. It's just basically just a translation loop side buffer. So you have just uh, uh, several uh, translations that are available. And if there's a miss, well, then you get an exception and you have to fill it yourself. Um, and the trickiest part is, of course, um, that <coughs> translation is still enabled when you get the exceptions. So you. Uh, you have to always have your handler uh, maps inside the virtual space, uh, or else you have you are very much into uh, trouble. Uh, so I read uh, some um, papers about it, uh, about how they did it in Linux, and they went uh, several routes. And they tried several things. They tried one uh, way, and then they went another way, and then they went back to the first one because it was simpler, and they they just hacked some. Uh, things to avoid uh, uh, doing some nasty things with the, the, the caches. So, uh, well, that's where I am for now. It's uh, uh, what I have to uh, think about uh, to avoid having nasty things. So, well, I can show you uh, where it goes for now. Uh, not very far, but it's. Uh, Oh, oh well. Um, so yeah. Jack and Isaac Rose over there. Yeah. So here is the the command line for QMU. 
with the machine uh, I, uh, I added. Uh, it's on here. So I just uh, pass it the uh, high code loader in the U image format. Uh, and also I pass the, uh, the tar file with the kernel and the drivers as uh, an init RD, uh, init uh, run disk. And I try to stop and wait for EDB. So, um, yeah. And then I start the GPU here uh, with 25 breakpoints. Don't uh, continue. And so there you go, you have the, the usual uh, messages. And uh, then um, that's about where it goes. Yeah, here it tries to um, to read the, the, the tar file with the, the yeah. kernel, but uh, the animation is not implemented yet, so it can't allocate the, the memory for that. That's it. <laughs> so you're going to finish this by tomorrow evening? Uh, I don't know how many um, post buzzers we have left. <laughs> I think all we need is making sure you've got some, you know, because I want to use your plan to be more Right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it. Thank you. 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 In the QE move setup that you've got currently, there's no FEC being passed to the. Uh, actually, there, yes, there is. I have the, the binary blob uh, installed and it, uh, it fills the uh, slash chosen node with the uh, init run disk address uh, start and end and the uh, console device. Ah, so okay. So yeah. yeah, it took me some time to. Uh, to it will basically the arguments you get instead of the init run disk and everything, you just get the binary blob and where is the init run disk? Well, it's inside the FGT. It ah, actually okay. catches the FGT because there's some empty space reserved for modifications yeah, in the binary. So um, Trimmy patches it just like he would do before handing the control over. So that was all already in the uh, QB you guys supported? Uh, yes, well, all, all the targets were already doing it. So I just uh, okay, okay, yes. Actually, um, well, yeah. there's uh, some support for the FDT in the uh, IP loader in my branch. Yeah. And you can even jump the, the tree uh, at boot to see uh, what's, what gets back. And QMU also has um, its own uh, function, I think, FDT. Uh, no. Uh, oh no, that's U boot. U boot. So if you go to yeah. the U boot prompt, you can actually um, uh, change things even in the uh, PT. Uh, yeah, I was just thinking because you you don't have U boot in this uh, QE setup because you lost that. No, no, no. I can start it. I can start it, but um, yeah. Uh, but then it's. Uh, Oh yeah, I'm going to give you a copy of the list. Um, you can test the one. Yeah, so it doesn't go up. No, it's really Yeah, because it's to read some forwards to go get the ground. Yeah, you can just rearrange. Bye, Cinderella. Thank you.